Panie, jest wyrażony w tej sprawie. Dziękuję Ci, Panie Boże, za Twoją obecność. Dlatego, Panie, że mogliśmy, Panie, na chwilę oddać się Panie, i wyczuwać do obecności. Panie, dziękuję Ci, że Ty jesteś w tym miejscu. Nie, Panie, że na nas nie ma. Jest tylko Twojego Ducha. Amen. Alleluja. Dziękuję Ci, Panie, za przyjście w tej sprawie. Panie, prowadź po prostu. A niech na nasze ludzie na naszą szoną dzisiaj, więc teraz ja tylko ja dziękujemy Ci Panie za nie, za nie, nie wszystko, co Panie będzie mówiła Panie, czy ja za nie będzie na pamięci, na marzenie, w mocy Ducha Świętego Panie Ci. A Panie, sprawa by nasze serce było otwarte Panie, aby nasze myśli byli skupione na to, co na Panie Panie, aby Twoje imię Panie było wyszone w nas, abyśmy byli Zatencyjni, aby pójść Panie do przodu, aby się rozwijać Panie, aby Panie w końcu iść ten koszt, który chcesz, abyśmy byli dla tego miasta Panie dla nas sami. Dziękuję Ci Panie, że tak będzie nam Panie w Panie, nie wiecie co chcesz mi sam. Amen. 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 And I just thank God for his, his presence and the anointing that's here in this place. I thank God for your pastors, Pastor David and Pastor Goshen, and thank God for each of them. And our family, Dr. Michelle and Margaret. Um, today we're going to be in my husband, my Lord. My mom's husband, Pastor Joseph Lloyd. And I just have to start to make a little bit of a Joseph. Amen. Amen. So tonight we're going to be talking about um, the subject of the plum line, the prophetic word. And she should be able to do it all. The plum line. Oh, leave me alone. God is rejoicing and the situation at the start. And the next And the next question is, what do you see? Another point is to, to, to not despise small beginnings. And the third point is to not despise small beginnings. Because God rejoices at the start, or even the restart of the So we're going to read out of the book of Zechariah, chapter 4. Starting in verse 1. So the first one. And we're going to read down to verse 10. The Lord said to the shelter. This tells us that he was not sleeping. As in having a dream. Because he said he woke me as though I had been sleeping. 
reflection, would you come and say school? So he was like in a vision. It's unbelievable. He's, he's, he didn't ask him what he dreamt. He asked him, what do you see? He was evidently a seer. It's the whole detail. Okay, so I'm continuing the scripture. I answered, I see a gold lampstand with a bowl of oil on top of it. Around the bowl are seven lamps, each having seven spouts with wicks. A ja odpowiedział, widzę o to, jest świeczny, cały ze złota, a na jego szczycie jest czasza. Na niej jest siedem lat, a lampy, które są na jej szczycie, mają siedem knot. And I see two olive trees, one on each side of the bowl. Then I asked the angel, what are these, my Lord? What do they mean? Dwa czerwone które stają obok niego. Jedno z prawej strony czasza, a drugie z lewej strony. Wtedy odezwały się i rzekł do anioła, który rozmawiał ze mną. Co to oznacza, mój pan? Don't you know the angel asked? No, my lord, I replied. Ale który rozmawiał ze mną tak odpowiedział, czy nie wiesz, co to oznacza? A ja odpowiedziałem, nie, nie, mój pan. Verse 6. Then he said to me, This is what the Lord says to Zerubbabel. It is not by force nor by strength, but by my spirit, says the Lord of heaven's armies. Amen. Wtedy oto powiedział do mnie, tak jest to pochwalę do Zorobabela. Nie dzięki mocy, ani dzięki siłę, lecz dzięki mojemu duchowi, to się stanie, mój Pan zastępuje. Now I want us to all repeat this together. Chciałabym, żebyśmy powtórzyli wszyscy razem to. It is not by force, it is so, not by force. Nor by strength. Nor by strength. Nor by strength but by my spirit. But by my spirit. Says the Lord of heaven's armies. Says the Lord of heaven's armies. Amen. 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 Verse 7. Nothing, not even a mighty mountain. Kim ty jesteś, wysoka will stand in Zerubbabel's way. It will become a level plain before him. We're going to read that again, because that's a prophetic word for this house. Nothing, not even a mighty mountain, will stand in Zerubbabel's way. Nic nawet wielka góra nie stanie na drodze z Zerubabelem. It will become a double plain before him. Stanie się jak równi na przed nim. And when Zerubbabel sets the final stone for the temple in place, więc... Oh, I see. That whole verse was verse 7. I think the whole thing, that very big part. So then, do that again. Nothing, not even a mighty mountain, will stand in Zerubbabel's way and become a level plain before him. And when Zerubbabel sets the final stone of the temple in place, the people will shout, May God bless it! May God bless it! On położył kamień na szczycie wśród okrzyku. Cudny, cudny, a pan Jezus było. No, może to jest szalony. May God bless it. Niech Bóg cię błogosławi, niech Bóg cię błogosławi. So you all have to be ready. Więc musicie być gotowi. To make that declaration. Żeby złożyć to tak dalej. Za tym tą miejsca. May God bless it. Niech Bóg te miejsce błogosławi. May God bless it. Niech Bóg miejsce błogosławi. Powiedzcie to. May God bless it. May God bless it. May God bless it. May God bless it. And we're going to go back to that in a little while. Verse 8. Then another message came to me from the Lord. Zerubbabel is the one who laid the foundation of this temple, and he will complete it. 
Ręce zbolowa Bela położyła w fundament pod tego przybytek i jego ręce wykończą go. Then you will know that the Lord of Heaven's armies has sent you. I poznacie, że Pan zastępów posłał mnie do nas. Verse 10. Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hand. Bo ci, którzy tracili i nie mają początku, będą się jeszcze nadawali. Zobaczmy, jak jeszcze to będą jako zawołane. Now the seven lamps represent the eyes of the Lord that search all the world. The seven lamps represent the eyes of the Lord that search all the world. The first one is the seven lamps. The seven lamps are the seven lamps. The seven lamps are the seven lamps. Verse 11, then I asked the angel, what are these two olive trees on each side of the lamps stand? Wersety następne wtedy odezwałem się i zapytałem, co oznaczają te dwa drzewa od jednej do prawej i lewej strony świecznika. And what are the two olive branches that pour out golden oil from the gold tubes? Verse 12. Nie, i po wkrótce odezwałem się i zapytałem, co oznaczają te dwie gałązki drzew od jednej, które dwiema złotymi rukami wypuszczają z siebie oliwę do złotych lam. Verse 13. Don't you know, he asked. No, my Lord, I reply. I on się odpowiedział, czy nie wiesz, co one znaczają? Ja powiedziałem, nie wiem, Panie. Then he said to me, they represent the two anointed ones who stand in the court of the Lord of all the earth. Ja on odrzekł, to są fajne pazance, którzy stoją przed Panem całe ziemi. Do not despise these small beginnings. Nie gardzić się małymi początkami. For the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hand. Bo nie wasz pacie ratuje początkami i tą początkową linią w kolejkach Zerubbabel. Structure is important. Struktury są bardzo ważne. Rome was built in a day, like they say. Żyło nie zbudowano tej będzie. Why does God rejoice in the start? Dlaczego Bóg się raduje na samym początku? Because how you start is important to how you finish. Ponieważ jak ty zaczniesz jest bardzo ważne, to wskazuje jak się zakończy. We are often the ones in a rush. And God is rejoicing in what we're doing right now. Często się spieszymy, bardzo się spieszymy, bo się cieszy z tego, gdzie nie jesteśmy w danym momencie. We can get so caught up into looking at other people and they're not envy you where they are. I my często możemy się zapatrzeć na ludzi, którzy są tylko koło nas i począć do pokłoni do dali. And we want to get out of real quick. I my chcemy tam bardzo szybko doszedć. I can use myself, for example. Mogę dać wam przykład o samej siebie. I absolutely love to see people doing well, doing great. Ja bardzo lubię patrzeć na ludzi, którzy, którym się dobrze pogodzi. I don't want what they have. Nie chcę mieć tego, co oni mają. I just want what I want. What's mine? Chcę right now. Chcę to, co mi jest potrzebne właśnie teraz. God said, you're building a structure. You're, Bóg mówi, że budujesz taką strukturę. But you're, you're not just building, you're building a firm foundation. Ale nie tylko to budujesz, bo ale także kładziesz taki porządny, solidny fundament. Enjoy it. And cieszy się. And rejoice for the beginning. I cieszy się tym początkiem. Now I understand that this is not a new church. Ja rozumiem, że to nie jest nowy kościół. But there's always, when there's like a reset going on, it is a new fresh beginning. Every new degree of glory is a new beginning. So rejoice for the start. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey. Now this applies in business. To dotyczy biznesu, it applies in ministry, służby, it applies in your family, to dotyczy także ludzi, in relationships, relacji, in your ideas, i twoich pomysłów. 
It said God rejoices at the storm. What I love about it is that once we start, God says, I will finish it. He who has begun a good work is faithful. He is faithful. He's faithful. He's faithful to complete it. Hallelujah. We're going to go to Amos chapter 7. 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 And we're going to be reading from verses 1 to 9. This is what the Son of the Lord showed me. He was preparing a swarm of locusts after the king's share had been harvested, and just as the late crops were coming up. When they had stripped the land clean, I cried out, Sovereign Lord, forgive! How can Jacob survive? He's so small! So the Lord relented. This will not happen, the Lord said. This is what the sovereign Lord showed me. The sovereign Lord was called for judgment by fire. It dried up the great deep and devoured the land. Takie widzenie dał mi oglądać Wszechwodzny Pan. Oto Wszechwodzny Pan wezwał płomień ognia, a wystawił wielką ton pod ziemią i strawił rolę. Then I cried out, Sovereign Lord, I beg you, stop! How could Jacob survive? It's so small. I rzekł, Wszechwodzny Pan, zaniechaj tego, jakże ostoje się Jakub, wszak jest taki waleńki. So the Lord relented. This will not happen either, the Sovereign Lord said. I żałował tego Pan, to się nie stanie. This is what he showed me. The Lord was standing by a wall that had been built, turned to plumb, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord asked me, What do you see, Amos? A plumb line, I replied. Then the Lord said, Look. I am setting a plumb line among my people Israel. I will spare them no longer. I rzekł tam do mnie, co widzisz, Amosie? I odpowiedział mi, Pion. Wtedy przekosły, że oto ja spuszczam Pion wśród mojego ludu izraelskiego. Już mu nie przepuszczam. The high places of Isaac will be destroyed, the sanctuaries of Israel will be ruined. With my sword I will rise against the house of Jeroboam. Spustoszone zostaną wyżywi i zaraka i złożone świętości Izraela i powstaną przeciwko do Bogi i Jeroboama z niczym. The plumb line was the standard. Ten pion był standard, standardowy. Now a plumb line is a tool that's used in construction to build walls that are straight. A pion to miał plumb line. To jest takie narzędzie, które przy budowaniu używa się do ściany grupy prostej. To jak? To jest pion. Tak, pion. No dobrze. Tak. They're straight up and down at a perfect right angle to the earth. Chodzi o to, że one, żeby były proste i miały równe kąty. What I love about the interaction of God and Amos. Co ja wiem, jeżeli chodzi o stosunek Boga z Amosem. It's the same interaction of the angel Zachariah. He asked him, what do you see? On was pytał, co widzisz? He's asking us, what do you see? I on się nas pyta, co widzisz? What do you see? Co widzisz? Because he's wanting to show us him. Ponieważ on chce nam coś pokazać. He's saying, can you see what I've shown you? 
to which God told them, to which God told them, and when each of them they saw that they had questions, right? Oni vidjeli da su skoro ali mi ne pitali. Ma to je moje zemljasije, se je pravo moje zemljasije. I oni pitali kako je vidjela, ali se prije smo prišli da vidiš, on se hoće da je pa vidjela. I see, but they don't understand me of what I see. Vidjela, da ću pokušta ćemo se razumijeti tako što vidjela. We have to remember that the vision that we see was given by God. Musimy pamiętać, że wizja, którą otrzymujemy, jest wizja na nami Boga. He gives us understanding and choices when we start to walk in that vision. On daje nam zrozumienie i wybory, kiedy idziemy zgodnie z tą wizją. And God sees the plan. I Bóg widzi tak piąt. He says, you are the plan. Bóg mówi, ty jesteś tym piątem. Uzyska Pentecostal Church of Uzyska. Ustnica Kościół Zielonośrodkowy w Ustce. You are the Tomai. Jesteście tym pionem. You are the Tomai. Jesteście tą jedną linią pionową. Put your hands on your heart. Połóżcie swoje ręce na sercu. We are the Tomai. We are the Tomai. We are the Tomai. Jesteście tym pionem. That means you're the blueprint. For structure. As a human responsibility leaders. We're leaders in your brain. And also our service. Więc jesteście jakby z tą strukturą, tak? Jesteście tutaj literami, w kościele. Ludzie służy. Ci, którzy służą. Ci, którzy służą. Do not despise who you are right now. Nie gadać tym, gdzie jesteś teraz w tym miejscu, w teraz, w tym czasie. Don't despise where you live. Nie gadaj się, gdzie mieszkasz. We don't despise our jobs. Nie gadaj się naszą pracą, naszą pracą. Don't despise your singleness if you're single. Nie gadaj się, że jesteś może single. Don't despise men. Nie gadaj się, że jesteś może w małżeństwie. Don't despise courting if you have to be courting. Nie gadaj się. Don't despise your flaws and weaknesses. According to the Quran, according to the Quran, it's dating. Ah, yeah, maybe when you're engaged. Ah, part, part, that for your part, you have to be part of the trilogy. The trilogy has to be in the spirit. He is perfecting those things that concern us. God is perfecting those things that concern us. God is that those people that are trying to concern us. He said, not by power, not by might, not by might, not by might, not by might, but by my spirit, says the Lord. I am sending a plumb line under my plumb. I am sending a plumb line under my plumb. I am sending a plumb line under my plumb. I am sending a plumb line under my plumb. Ministry work is a shameless work. Służba to jest praca bez wstydu, tak? Rejoice in all time. Cieszcie się cały czas. The Bible talks about rejoicing and experiencing glory in our suffering. Biblia mówi o radości i cieszeniu się, kiedy przychodzimy przez różne trudności i cierpienia. And we also rejoice in glory in our triumphs. I także możemy się cieszyć i radować chwale w czasie naszych doświadczeń. There's always a reason to rejoice. Zawsze jest jakiś powód, żeby się radować. There's always a reason to rejoice. Zawsze jest jakiś powód do radości. There's always a reason to rejoice. Zawsze jest jakiś powód, żeby się cieszyć. A lot of times when we're struggling, and często my mamy problem with the different Changes that we have going on. And as the different things that are going on, God is in there rejoicing. And He's rejoicing in the star. Oh, she's rejoicing in the star. He's rejoicing that He decided to take a chance. Oh, she's rejoicing that He decided to take a chance. Oh, she's rejoicing that He decided to take a chance. Oh, she's rejoicing that He decided to take a chance. Oh, she's rejoicing that He decided to take a chance. Oh, she's rejoicing that He decided to take a chance. Oh, she's rejoicing that He decided to take a chance. Oh, she's rejoicing that He decided to take a chance. Oh, she's rejoicing that He decided to take a chance. Oh, she's rejoicing that He decided to take a chance. He loves new things because he creates them. Um, kocha te rzeczy, które nasz Bóg stwarza. God loves the story of things because it allows him to reset and fulfill his vision. 
Bukowe mam rzeczy, ponieważ pozwalają nam na to, aby do, dokonała się jego e, cel, wizja w Twoim życiu. God is well known for separating. Bóg jest, ta gara jest znana z tego, że nie rozdziela. He did it with people like Noah and Abraham. Możemy to, o tym przeczytać, zrobię tak z Noah i z Abrahamem. And other leaders to reestablish his covenant. Po to, żeby jego przymierze było dokonane. To start over again. To start over. Żeby zacząć od początku. That's, that's what the great flood was about. To jest to, o czym powód, tak? Po to Now he started over with Noah. Więc zaczął od Noah z Noah. And sin was still in the earth. Ale nadal był przed na ziemi. So Abraham completely started over. Przez Abraham znowu zaczął od początku. By sanctifying a group. Po, po, poprzez wybranie, poświęcenie jej grupy je to himself. Na ziemi. Be grateful. Bądź wdzięczny. God is starting with you. Ja Bóg zaczyna z tobą. Be grateful. Bądź wdzięczny. That you are part of something new. Że jesteś częścią czegoś nowego. You are part of the blueprint of God. For this region. And for this nation. Jesteś tutaj kopiem jakby Boga na tego obszaru, w którym jesteś na tej planie. You are part of the blueprint and structure of God for this area, the region, and for the nation. Amen. And uh, that second time I said it, it's in the spirit of the nation. Drugi raz, jak to powtórzyłam, to było dla narodów, nie tylko narodów, tylko dla narodów. The temple, talking about the, the temple of God, has been built and destroyed, and built and destroyed, and built and destroyed. Czytałam o tym, że świątynia była odbudowana, rozwalona i odbudowana, rozwalona. I really talk about the church at large, like globally. I to możemy powiedzieć o kościele globalnie. God is remodeling his church. Bóg jest jakby przekształcony, tak? Przekształca Kościół. We, all of us, my wszyscy, tak? Are being remodeled. Jesteśmy przemieniani, tak? Amen. God is setting the standard. Bóg ustala standardy, wyznacza standardy. Are you ready to be that standard? Czy jesteś gotowy na to? <laughs> For some, you may be you know, starting over um, in some area of your life. And starting over is, is not easy. Because starting over is another beginning. Ponieważ zaczynamy od początku, jest jakby nowy początek. Starting over is a new beginning, and it's okay to start over. Więc zaczynamy jeszcze raz, zaczynamy od początku, i to jest okay. Can, can everyone look at the person next to you? Czy możecie spojrzeć na swojego sąsiada, sąsiadkę? And say, i powiedzieć, it's okay to start over. To jest okay, żeby zacząć od nowa. The tragedy is when we're unable to start over. Because when we don't start over, Ponieważ jeżeli zaczniesz od nowa, straciłeś tę możliwość. Ale tak jak masz oddech w swoim ciele, as long as you have the breath of the Holy Spirit, tak długo jak masz oddech, tchnienie Ducha Świętego, you can restart. 
Możesz zacząć od mała. You can reset the standing and you will restart. Możesz jakby zresetować i zacząć od początku. The plumb line. Ta linia krawała ten pion. The plumb line. Pion. The plumb line. Pion. The plumb line. Pion. Please look at your ears again. Proszę, zwróćcie na swoje wyszanki jeszcze raz. And tell them, you are the plumb line. I powiedzcie mi, jesteś pionem. You are the plumb line. Jestem też piątki. Amen. Amen. The restart could be in a relationship. Ten restart może być w relacji. It could be a restart in a career. Restart może być w karierze. It could be a restart in a relocation. Restart może być przez przemieszczenie się do nowego miejsca. Some people say, oh my gosh, I'll be located again. Niektórzy mówią, o, mój Boże, zdarzy się przyprowadzić na gdzieś do nowego miejsca. But God says it's rejoicing in the start. Don't despise it. A Bóg mówi, że radzi się nad początkiem. Nie gadź się. He's rejoicing in your restart. On się ratuje w twoim nowym początku. Allow him to build the plan line. Ten pozwól Bogu zbudować ten pion. So the question, we have a question here. Więc mamy takie pytanie tutaj. As for your building. Jak, jak w budynku. Is it straight, balanced, aligned, and will it hold? Czy jest prosty, zbalansowany i czy dobrze utrzymany? God will take his time with you. Poświęci czas, because he desires to see to see. Bo on zaplanował, abyś miał powodzenie w tym celu. Remember, it's his plan. Pamiętajcie, to jest jego. You are his plan. Jesteście jego planem. You are his vision. Jesteście jego wizją. Glory to God. And the bigger the vision, i większą rzeczą niż wizja, the bigger the problem. A im większa wizja, im większy jest pion. The bigger the vision, im większa jest wizja, the bigger the problem. Bóg większa jest linia tam pionowa od pionu. And this house, i to miejsce, has a very big vision. Ma wielką wizję. And so you have to have a very big problem. Więc wy musi mieć też długo ten duży, ten pion. Everyone say, I am the problem. I am the problem. 2,800. Come, we just thank you for change. We thank you for transition. We thank you for the ladies that are not quite the ladies. You are a measure, God. This is looking at the God of God measure. This is looking at the God of God measure. This is looking at the God of time. Jesteś Bogiem czasu. Time is everything. Czas jest wszystkim. He makes all things clear. On sprawia, że wszystko staje się jasne. And brings them into plain sight. I każdy ma odpowiednim czasie. The Spirit of God. Father, we thank you for passing the sight. We thank you for bringing clarity. Father, we thank you for bringing clarity. And bringing things into plain sight. And bringing things into plain sight. When you think about the Jewish calendar or the biblical calendar, it's different than the Gregorian calendar that we use. Dates, times, years. Are measured by man's tools and standards. So we show them the different standards by measuring them by different tools, by different standards. God is not working with our time or our concept of time. Bóg nie działa w naszym koncepcie, w naszym rozumieniu czasu. He is Alpha. He is Omega. He is Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and he is the ending. On his talk and his concept. God is doing a sort of genesis. We are going to be the genesis, not the beginning. He's beginning again. Let's try to trust. And I want to tell you something about the genesis. 
Chciałbym coś wam powiedzieć na temat stworzenia. It has a beginning. On to ma początek, but it also has no ending. Ale nie ma końca. So beginning. Więc początek and progression. I postęp and movement. I ruch and movement. I kolejny ruch are constant. Są stałe. So when we graduate from one level of education, for example, to another, it's a new beginning. Does it change the education that you received before? Absolutely not. No. When God gives you a new house, is it? Does it change the new Did it change the blessing of your previous house? Czy to zmienia to błogosławieństwo, które miałeś w poprzednim domu? Your your previous house was new ones, right? Wasz stary dom był kiedyś nowym miejscem. It served its purpose. Usłużył przez ten okres, który miał służyć, spełnił swoje przeznaczenie. And when he gives you another new house to begin, i kiedy masz nowy dom, od którym zaczynasz, It's another place to create new memories. To jest nowe miejsce, gdzie będziesz miał znowu nowe wspomnienia. To be in new plans. Żeby mieć nowe plany. With new purpose. Z nowym celem. God gave you a new car. Bóg tam czy nowy samochód. Does your old car lose its value? Czy twój stary samochód utraci twój na wartości? It does lose its value. And then there are 
are seasons where they don't actually die. Tiene kusni saki opuskiro na tayo ng mga ayon. They're pruning for the next season. I should show you my colleagues as well. With each new turning point or milestone, it's kind of watching that he puts his block. There's a new beginning. It's not a problem. We are young. And I'm going to write this 
starting at verse 12. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Pastor Joseph, I'm sorry. Can I ask you to come up and just play something solid? This is the song. Just as a body, no one has many parts. But all its many parts are one body. So, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit. So as to form one body. Whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given as one spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made for one part but of many. Now, if the foot should say, <laughs> because I'm not a hand, I do not belong to the body. It would not for that reason stop being a part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I am not an eye, I do not belong to the body. It would not for that reason stop being a part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has placed the parts in the body. Every one of them cast his feet just as he wanted them to be. God has placed in the body every one of them just as he wanted them to be. If they were all one part, where would the body be? I thank God for my two hands and my two bodies. Let's see. As it is, there are many parts but one body. And he says it again, that I cannot say to the hand, I don't need you. And the head cannot say to the feet, I don't need you. On the contrary, those who are the contrary, those parts of the body that seem to be weaker, are indispensable. So, and the parts that we think are less honorable, we treat with special honor. And the parts that are unpresentable are treated with special modesty. While our presentable parts gain no special treatment. But God has put the body together, together, giving greater honor to the parts that lacked so that there should be no division in the body, but that its part should have equal concern for each other. But that its part should have equal concern for the other. If one part suffers, Every part suffers with it. So, look at you in your game. And tell me, if, if you suffer, I suffer. I suffer. I suffer. If you suffer, 
uh, same thing with school of fish. And some ways the Sunabak do are like a formation. By the way, I can probably tell you on the Dutch Bank of Formats, they swim together and they are synchronized. They move in the same direction. They move in the same direction. At the same speed. To be called a school, a group of fish must demonstrate all of these rather than rather complex behavioral patterns. So, so God is calling you God is calling you into formation. To be the best school. So what means of Yes, it's a full kid. Have you all seen like how a formation is? A formation like with like airplanes or like with birds? I look like it is the zone in Aztec. I try to put it to the front. Put it to the front. Someone in Aztec, come on up. Okay. And we need to make an angle. Nie mamy za dużo miejsca, ale musimy to powiedzieć i kątem zrobić. We're going to go on this way. Musimy przyjść tam do tego Okay, we're going to be declaring God bless you. Oh, I'm here. 
Ja doświadczyłam 
pokazuje ci, że mamy do ducha. To say, church, my family needs you. My marriage needs you. We have to come to that understanding. That they call us. 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 And they pray for us. The devil, the devil, fights them. The devil, the devil, is here to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Christ is a prophet. So when they find themselves in that situation, we need to lift them up in prayer. We need to pray for them. We need to love them. We need to show concern. We need to show concern. We need to show concern. So please let everybody come. Let's pray for them. 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 But the devil is fighting. So it is time for us as a church to say to last to last. Devil, draw a line. We want you out of this ministry because we don't fight against flesh and blood. But we fight against principalities and power. So let us all come close to them and pray.
Thank you. 